So what's next for Ruto and what's next for Gen Z's? What's next for Kenya? What what is coming next? Everyone is watching and we're all looking and waiting and, and praying that everything goes okay. But I'm calling all Kenyans to unite. As we move forward, um, whatever will happen will happen, but let us unite because there is power in unity. Um, what can you do? It's not about what the country can do to you, what the politicians can do for you because they will fail you if you trust in them. But what can you do for the country? What can you bring in? Are you a Christian? You can pray for us. You can pray for the country. Are you a spiritual leader? You can bring in some reason and you can encourage people to unite. Are you um, a businessman or an entrepreneur? You can encourage other people. You can um, create more, more employment. You can create more things that will help and support the country. Are you a politician? This is time to look deep and say, if you are not in politics, what would you love to see the people in politics do what kinds of reform do you think will be beneficial and, and start putting them in place right now that time for getting into power to be able to access the resources that are available for you that time is over i don't know what's going to happen but i i know that there's going to be change are you a baby boomer um this is a time to start thinking about succession how can you empower the young people coming up to be able to take over the things that you're doing um, because using technology and the latest thinking and innovation they can even make it bigger and better how can you leave it for them and for um, the Gen X's and the Millennials we are the mothers of the Gen Z's how can we empower our, our, our young people to unlock the potential that every one of them has because the, inside of them there's a wealth of resources. There's a, a wealth that is just waiting to be tapped into. How can we encourage them to go in that direction? Um, it, will, it, will, it will be amazing if we can unite as a nation. And Because if we don't unite, <laughs> we're all going to bondage. And it's not, it's not nice, it's not sweet. You've seen, like, in the Bible times, when the nation was rebellious and um, went into apostasy, the next thing they went into into um, went to bondage. And the bondage in the modern times will look like bad contracts, you know, bad work contracts where you're really oppressed, or bad loan terms where you're very oppressed. That is bondage. So how can we work together as a nation to be free from all the bondages that we've entered into um, in ignorance or through bad leadership? Um, and for people who are innovative, this is not the time to um, start blaming the cartels and blaming the politicians. If you're in innovation, this is the time to ask yourself, what capital do I have? Uh, you have social capital, you have information capital, you have technological capital, intellectual capital. How can I bring this together to, uh, to create opportunities where everybody wins and you can do so, they can win using future profits so that you don't have to have bags of money before you can do anything because it doesn't just work. And even the investors, um, at some point you run out of your own money so you find other ways of of creating uh, opportunities so we have to think differently and let's unite as kenyans we can do more when we unite um and i'm i've got a feeling that our country has a very bright future so whatever you can do do it well god bless my name is caroline jones I'm an investor and mentor and look forward to seeing you in the next video.